All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father. Uh, Amazon Kindle, Create Space. The link will be in the description box below. As usual, go get it. And the PayPal information is there too. I gotta say that now, too. Okay, now. Video, though, entitled We All Weren't Raised to Be Conscious. See, Here's one of the things I will say. With a lot of these conversations on YouTube and in social media and a lot and all of these woke people uh, and a lot of the blame that's put on the older generation, who, which I've done also, uh, we forget one thing. Even with ourselves, we all wasn't raised Conscious. All of our parents wasn't woke. I think a majority of our parents weren't woke. But we want to walk around, we don't have all these discussions as if, you know, our parents and grandparents had the foresight that matches our view of looking at things in hindsight. No, not the case. Like, You know, first and foremost, there are some things that we might be doing that's right and that pe that generations in the future are going to be like, I'm glad y'all did that. And there, are probably, and there are probably things that we're going to do wrong that we think are right at this particular point. The generations in the future are going to be like, y'all, y'all fucked up. So... We, you know, we're not being objective when it comes to that. But we all wasn't raised to be conscious. See, all of the, all of this uh, entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial spirit, and all of this, uh, um, awakening to nuance of black culture in America. There are some things that have been uh, there historically. And some of this stuff is just new wave um, information due to technology, which, you know, people in the past didn't have this technology. So they're not as conscious or, or able to get the level of information today as, as that they weren't able to get the level of information back then that we can get today. So, some of our um, issues and hangups that that come from our the way we were parented and the way we were groomed and guided to be adults came from people who weren't conscious, you know. And different times, different situations has have us looking like kind of excuse me. Looking at, at the past on a pedestal. Like now that I'm at this position, you should have did this, this, that, and the third. Nah. Nah. Because can you say your parents was conscious? Can you say your grandparents was conscious? The way we talk about how religion overly uh, affected our community in a bad way. Everybody was overly religious. Well, most people were overly religious. So you knew they weren't conscious to... To, to, to the traps that religion brought. You knew this. You know this. You think they knew that? No, absolutely not. They didn't know that. So, you you know, we weren't raised to be conscious like that. And they weren't raised to be conscious like that. You know? Um, of course, we all knew the race relations. You know, we all, generationally, we get that. But we did, did we do, know the nuances of how these coalitions and business dealings were, were going to work in the end? No, they, they didn't know that then. They weren't, you know, so we weren't raised to, to, to know how these things, these coalitions and these business practices were going to work or going to be now. We, we're looking at it unfold on the back end. And we're like, oh, see, we wasn't, we was raised in this kumbaya, we can all get along you know, we're all not enemies, and, you know, this is not necessarily a competition. We're all just going to 
work as hard as we can and trust in the Lord. While other people were out here cutting our throats, smiling in our faces. Or cutting our parents' throats and smiling in their faces. To the point where some of our parents still believe in coalitions. Even though they have no... Um, nothing tangible that, that says these coalitions actually work for us as a group. So we, so we weren't raised to be conscious. We're figuring this stuff out. You know, we don't want to admit that. Some of us were raised up um, more street than others. So you know we wasn't conscious because our upbringing is, is, is more hood than hotel. Just saying, you know, so, you know, our parents wasn't conscious. We wasn't raised to be conscious. Um, a lot of us aren't woke to the reality. A lot of us got to realize that, you know, some of our family w were woke in the 60s and fell asleep in the 70s and in the 80s. So... See how that ended, right? And, and on top of that, you know, the way we're interacting with our genders and the way we're having uh, issues with, with society and co-parenting, our kids might not be, aren't probably completely raised to be conscious either because guess what? Are we parenting and, and co-parenting in a conscious way? Just saying, just saying. It's got questions, questions, questions. Um, the other thing about this, when we talk about legacy, a lot of us wasn't raised to understand the importance of legacy. A lot of us are figuring out this legacy as we we're adults. So obviously, this um, consciousness is something that we're picking up from here and keeping with us and, and running with going forward. This is not something that was passed down that, you know, we didn't get the torch passed to us per se and say, now you got to run with it, it's your turn. We wasn't raised to be conscious about legacy like that. We don't want to admit that. We, we were more so raised to get an education and a good job, and it'll all work out, you know, so, a lot of us don't want to take that in consideration, um, and, and, and part of that has to deal with the fact that we do have a certain unnecessary disrespect for, for maybe baby boomers and people that are older than them, than them because, we don't have, we really don't understand the extents of their lives. We just think civil rights movement, everybody was woke around them, and then you drop the ball. But you got to understand, like, that whole baby boomer generation wasn't raised to be conscious. Just because the civil rights movement was in the baby boomer generation does not mean the entire black baby boomer generation was conscious. People didn't agree with, you know, the civil rights movement. People didn't agree with the Black Panthers. People didn't agree with the Nation of Islam. You, 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 have we forgotten about this? People didn't agree with the marches. People didn't agree, you know, with Martin Luther King. People didn't agree with Malcolm X. You know, Mega Ever, so on and so forth. You know, we seem to forget about that. So, the, the entirety of the community wasn't conscious. Now, the other part about that is because we all weren't raised to be conscious, some of us who are quote unquote woke, deep down we know that we see the work that has to be done and we are just doing what Historically, the conscious community and what people have done. Pass the buck to the next generation because it's going to be too hard to do all this work. 
you know, we want to give people the conscious information. But not necessarily put some practical application and work behind it. And the people who are actually doing the work are not looking for praise and approval and accolades and adoration and all that. They're just doing the work because they know it needs to be done. So so you those people can't necessarily be, be claimed as conscious. They're just the people who are actually getting it done. Like like my, my main man, Black Dynamite. When you, you know, I'll be right there on the front line showing you how, how it gets done. You know, but until you there, when grown folks, shut the fuck up when grown folks is talking. I didn't say the whole line right. But if you seen Black Dynamite, you know what I'm talking about. So, just, just the video, we all wasn't raised to be conscious. So I'm done. We out.